groups. I think in the testimony that you talked about here in Congress, and I know in California, that when Blue Cross Anthem raised their rates about 39 percent on the average, uh, or 39 percent maximum, about 25 percent on the average, and then had done that previously just in the previous year. So it's actually the two-year period is actually 12 months over two years, uh, two calendar years. What happened to the profits of the company went from about $300 million to over $2.2 billion profit. And that's probably why the uh, CEO came before and correctly, because I suspect she was under oath, you don't lie to Congress, told that she now has a $2 million salary plus an $8 million bonus, because she was able, by raising the rates, to obtain a higher bonus for herself and obviously an extraordinary increase in the profitability of the company. Now, if, if this bill passes, there will be a national standard for rate increases. It also says that if the state governments, and many state governments already do this, that they will be able to continue their rate regulation process. Now, in California, as insurance commissioner in 1991, uh, there was a proposition passed that set up a rate regulation system for the property casualty. This is auto and homeowner and business insurance. It didn't cover health insurance. But the effect of that rate regulation over a 20-year period, as um, uh, d described by the Consumers Union, is over $30 billion savings to consumers. Now, I was able to do that because I became insurance commissioner. I set up the regulation system. It works. The insurance companies are allowed a profit. They have a steady 10% profit. The extraordinary swings in the system eliminated. The extraordinary increases and then some decreases were eliminated. A steady state was put in place so that the market actually became more competitive. There were more insurers. The policy costs were held down for consumers. We were unable to get that for the health insurance industry. We were o unable to overcome the political strength, the contributions, the advertising of the health insurance industry. California remains today a state where consumers in the private individual market in California faced this rate increase because there was no rate regulation. I am so thankful that you've introduced the legislation. This has been the heart and soul of my work for more than eight years over a 20-year span of time. And if this comes into place, I know from my experience as insurance commissioner, it will be a substantial improvement to the cost of insurance. It will bring rates down, not just over time, but immediately because the insurance companies, no way, no how, can they justify the kind of increases that they're imposing upon the public. So, and that's now in this legislation. That's right. Thank that's you right. for doing that. And let me say, I think truly this is one of the dividing lines between the Democratic majority that's about to pass this bill that stands with the American people versus the Republicans who persistently have stood on the side of the insurance companies that have raised our rates for decades, have cut people off, have canceled policies, have put in pre-existing conditions. We want to stop those kinds of abusive practices. That's what they are. It's really abuse, and, uh, and, and the Democrats are standing with the American people. It's a really which side are you on?